All right, Daniel and I are at Best Buy. Um, my dad needs a new phone case for his new phone that we got yesterday. Um, I just spent two hours on the freeway. That was insane. I guess to sum it up in short, it's it, it was there was some traffic. It was like one one thirty, um, and um, I'd like to go back to my six a.m. runs. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of merging. How was did I do okay, Daniel? Oh yeah, you just, you're you're kind of slow. Yeah, the funny thing is, people always told me I. People tell me I drive too fast, which I do in like neighborhoods, but then I got yelled at like four times in a row once we were on the freeway for going too slow. It's like, hey, if you want to be on the freeway, you need to go freeway speeds because otherwise you're going to get rear-ended. So yeah, um, so going 65 was something new. And yeah, so debrief later. Yeah. Okay, so long story short, it's now Sunday evening. Evening, not night. It's not that late. It's 5.42. Um, but let's see, I think I started the vlog in, like, Best Buy or something. Um, so, let's see, after Best Buy, I came home, went to church, um, that was interesting, and then had a sleepover at Jared's house, and then this morning came back to, I gave tutor, uh, I gave Phil a geometry tutoring session, and then I went to church, and then I went to a church event, and then came home, and been screwing around ever since. Um, but the freeways, well, we're gonna talk about other things, too. Um... Uh, an interesting thing to note from Saturday school last night, um, we were doing prayer request and one of the kids raised his hand and said, pray that Hunter gets a better haircut. So, um, if you guys would all be praying for me that I would get a better haircut, that'd be appreciated. Um, okay, and, um, dinner was really fun, let's see, um, yeah, you know, there's some nights that are better than others and that was definitely night that was better than others, um, there was, there was a good uh, set of people there and a nice conversation where the younger kids were outside and the older kids were inside and they never really came and bothered us, um, which was super nice and just, uh, I think it went really well. Um, church, as always, was nice. Um, the pastor gave students a shout out like multiple times. That was fun. Um, and let's see, the great event, we had great events today, um, which were pretty fun. Um, I got a lot of soda and, um, pizza, um, but it, it was a pretty good hangout session, um, and yeah, so now we're gonna talk about driving, cause what the heck, um, so normally when you come across, uh, mm, ah, okay, so there's something really interesting, you guys, you guys know the Saturday group, um, it's super, super awesome now to see, you know, leaving the church parking lot, a caravan of automobiles driven entirely by the class of 2020. It's really funny. Um, people are getting their permits at different times. Like, Caleb and Jared got theirs earlier. Caleb's been driving for a while, but Jared kind of didn't drive to dinner after church for a while until the past few weeks he started doing it every night. Um, but, you know, I just got my license. Julia just got her license, not license, permit. So now, you know, you have four cars propelled by um, not only gasoline, but the... Whoa! Not only gasoline, but the class of 2020, and it's kind of epic. Um, on the other hand, though, the other thing about it is, um, normally you have something super awesome happening in life, and you go and share about it, and it's like, woo, that's awesome. Um, and this is a weird thing, because for me, being able to drive, it's such a huge milestone, you know, age-old dream. Um, I thought about, I remember thinking a few years ago, like, man, if I was given one wish... Well, I mean, there's a lot of things. Other than unlimited wishes, the cause. But, like, let's say, you know, I did something. They're like, what do you want? Like, my one wish would probably be to be able to um, apply for a driver's permit or whatever at a younger age. Like, when I was 13 or whatever, to be able to drive. Clearly, that would have been horrible. Um, but, you know, just, I mean, when I was a kid, that's what I wanted to do. And I always got really pissed at every resort that, or every golf course. Said you needed a driver's license to drive a golf cart. That always pissed me off. Um, one time... Some dude in his golf cart came by while we were golfing. He said, hey, your dad has to drive the cart. I was mad about that. Um, I just love driving golf cart. I just love driving. So, um, you know, for me, this is a huge thing in my life. And, like, I'm super excited. And I want to tell everyone, like, oh, I'm driving. But, you know, I was, like, I got the, after dinner last night, we're leaving. I got the keys. And I'm, like, preparing for how I'm going to respond if someone says, like, oh, look, Hunter's driving. And then I look around and I watch all of my friends get their keys and step in the driver's seat of their car. I'm like, wow, I'm not special at all, am I? So, 
I don't know. It's it's really weird. Um, and ironically, it would have been special um, if I had actually worked on it. I could have gotten my my permit in May, May 20th. Um, but I waited until, let's see. Well, I would have probably been able to drive in like early June if I had figured it out correctly. But no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to drive. I wasn't able to drive until September 23rd. So let's see. May is month five. September is month nine. So that's a, I was four months late on getting this thing. Dang. Um, so, you know, if I had gotten it when I could have, um, my birthday, the only person older than me is Caleb, and he's older than me by five days. So I could have, you know, been on the road as early as Caleb if I scheduled my appointment with driving school earlier, maybe even earlier. Because, um, yeah, he got in June. So, I mean, I would have been able to be on the road technically before everyone else, um, and it could have been something really cool. But, you know, it's not because I'm lazy. Um Anyways, that was a weird thing to talk about. Now let's talk about the freeway. Um, people have complained that I drive too fast. Ironically, I think I told you guys this. I got in trouble for going too slow. Not by the police, but just by my dad. He's like, hey, if you want to be on the freeway, you need to be going 65. I'm like, okay. So, um, yeah, super cool feeling, but pretty comfortable. Um, ironically, I remember feeling, not having a panic attack, but having, like, a, oh my gosh, really, like, moment when I got off the freeway and got back on the main road, because the, the lane, ah, oh, focus, um, the lanes on the freeway are a lot wider since you're supposed to be going fast, and then, you know, hop onto a street with a speed limit of, of like, 35 or 40, the lanes are able to be a lot smaller, and they are, because it's a city, and they don't have room for wide lanes, so, like, I went from these lanes, like, going 65 on the freeway, I was not having trouble staying in my lane, um, but, like, hop, hop off the freeway onto a surface street again. And I was like, oh, my gosh, wow, this lane is super tight. Like, a lot of, like, you know, more, a lot more of my focus is having to be driven towards making sure I'm inside these two white lines. Um, so that was interesting. Um, and, you know, normally you think driving on a freeway is harder. I don't even think it's harder. It's just a kind of a different experience, you know. Um, on the freeway... In, in some respects, it's easier. some respects, it's harder, you know? It's easier in that you there's a lot less things to worry about. You're not looking at driveways or parked cars or pedestrians or bicyclists. Oh, bicyclists. Um, you're not looking at the traffic light ahead of you. There's a lot of things you're not looking at. Really, on the freeway, am I in my lane? Am I going fast enough? Or not, am I going Am I going the right speed? Because you don't want to be going too fast or too slow. You know, am I in my lane? Am I going the right speed? Is there someone on this side, this side, or behind me tailgating me? Um, and, you know, is anyone, you know, are the people around me trying to switch into my lane? Or, you know, is someone tailgating me so if I hit the brakes hard? You know, you're just paying attention to kind of who's popping in your lane. Is the lane, are the cars in front of you going to stop soon? And is anyone doing something stupid around me? You know, you just kind of relax there's a lot less to worry about where you know driving on the street you know you're worried about damn can the bicyclist please stay in their lane like i swear the bicyclists are on the what like they have their bike lane right the two white lines they're on the line they're like literally riding on the white line i'm like boy you have that entire lane and you're gonna ride and i have an island right here like i i mean i'm going 10 miles an hour trying to stay in between this island and in between the cyclist on his white line so uh, and you know the, if their wheels on the white line the little handlebars coming out and everything and like their elbows uh, i can actually know when backs like that i didn't do that i don't even know um Anyways, you guys know what I mean. Oh, focus. Um, anyways, so uh, just different in a lot of respects. A lot less to worry about than on service street, but at the same time, um, there's the aspect that a so. First of all, being on a surface street is so much more relaxing because you're not going as fast. And the thing that really bummed me out, I got to drink it in and out. I hop on the freeway. I couldn't drink my drink until I was waiting at the stop. So like. When, once you're going, you're non-stop and like, you know, you're driving with no brakes for, you know, however many, 45 minutes or whatever it was, um, until you get off. And then, you know, it wasn't until I made it to a, another red light, I was so relieved, I hit the brake, I, oh, I slammed, I just set my foot on the brake and finally picked up my drink again, I was thirsty, I was like, oh, this is nice, this is great, um, so, um, you know, in that respect, it's a lot more relaxing to be able to, I mean, man, coming to a place where I'm appreciating traffic lights. What the heck? Um, but, you know, 
it's nice to have a break and stop at the red lights. Um, on the freeway, it's good, good, good. So, um, that was my experience. I think, I don't know if I told you guys, I got cut off. There was a dude weaving in and out of the two re uh, leftmost lanes, just kind of snaking in between the cars, and he cut so close in front of me. Holy smokes. If I didn't slam the brakes, his his rear end would have hit the hood of my car. So, um, that was fun. Um, not fun, but anyways, um... In a way, it was kind of exciting, though, because, you know, the entire time, and it, it's not good, but the entire time I was on the freeway, like, unless I'm accelerating, like, if the if it's kind of at a slight incline or, like, my speed's dropping, uh, my foot is, like, hovering over the brake pedal, like, I'm looking like, ooh, is anyone going to come in, because then I'm going to hit the brake and make sure I don't get in an accident, so, you know... It was kind of nice at the end, you know, to pay off. See, like, there's someone. Hit the brakes. Hunter's a good reaction person. Dab on those haters. Um, so, yeah. Uh, any other weird events? Um, first interchange I ever went through. I mean, me being the map guy, you think I know everything. And I'm in the right the right two lanes get off um, for the freeway to get on, right? So I'm in the right two lanes. My dad's like, are you sure, there, are you sure both lanes um, go you know, get onto the freeway, I'm like, yeah, like, I'm thinking, like, yeah, I was here last weekend, both of them get off, and, um, I was right, both of them got off, and then those two lanes split in half to go in north or south, um, and I was like, oh, that is fun, I'm in the, so I had to go, get off, get on the freeway, make a, U you know, get off the freeway, make a U-turn, and hop back on the other direction, because I was in the right lane to get on the freeway, but in, in the wrong lane to get on the right direction of the right freeway, so, oh, okay, um, so that was fun, um, Jared's house was nice, we stayed up till like 12, which isn't too bad, um, tutored Phil, that was fun, went to church, that was great, um, been biking around for a while, um, just kind of starting to take it slow, relax a little more, um, I, I like bike rides, you guys already knew that, um, I got three hours of driving in yesterday, that was good, anyway, that's, that's a pretty good recap of the weekend, um, that's all I wanted to talk about, how weird it is, how, Interesting it is that driving is not special at all. Um, the only, that's something that is special, though, Lucas has, has had his permit for five months and everyone on the freeway, and I went on the freeway two weeks in and didn't get in a crash. Dab on those haters. So um, I don't know if I would say I have more experience, but I am a lot more comfortable with driving. Being the nerd that I am, I've been paying paying attention to driving since, you know, I, I've been in the car. And also, like, seriously paying attention for the past six months to a year or whatever. You know, seriously, like, oh, man, like, I'm pretending I was driving. I, 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 think, I think I told you guys sometimes when I'm really tired, I'll keep myself awake saying, like, Hunter, if you were driving, you'd have to be awake. And FYI, if you're tired, don't drive, guys. That's stupid because I wound up falling asleep. It was 2 a.m., so I can't blame. Okay, well, anyways. Um, but, yeah, so, but I've been paying attention, you know, when, when my dad puts his blinker on, I'm looking, I'm trying to, like, look back and see, like, and I'm watching the lane change and everything, and I'm, you know, see, seeing his stopping distance. I'm pretty comfortable with driving as a whole, um, just in that, you know, I've paid a lot of attention to how it works, and, um, yeah, and I know how the traffic lights work because of my cycling experience. Once I started riding my bike, I quickly picked up on how all the traffic cycles work, which is so much e. Oh my gosh, I thought they were the most complicated things as a kid. It's so, so basic. Um, but, I mean, I know how, but, you know, some individual lights work differently. I know how most lights go, so. Anyways, that's a good vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave, leave a like. If you did not like the video, just like it. I'm going to share your opinion in the comments section down below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, 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 oh,